In this video, we're going to take a look at discrete and continuous variables and learn the distinction between the two. First of all, let's take a look at discrete variables. Discrete variables are things that are countable. There's a certain number of them. There might be an infinite number, but they're always countable. There's nothing in between. If you have two of them, like for example, the number of markers, well, we could have one or we could have two, but we couldn't have any of those numbers that are between. Remember, there's things like 1.5, 1.25. Between there, that would not be discrete, the, a variable that described the number of markers. And finally, we could refer to it as digital. Think of like a digital clock. The, a discrete value for time would be like... 1042. Well, there's actually more, if we wanted to be more exact in terms of the time, we could have seconds on there. We could have tenths of seconds and so on. But if we just have a digital clock that just has 1042, well, that would be discrete because the next thing would be 1043. And that clock isn't going to tell us anything between there. Now let's take a look at continuous variables. Continuous variables are infinite and there's always something in between them. So for example, if we're talking about time again, then we could look at, well, we have 1042 and 1043. There's actually 1042 and one second, 1042 and two seconds. Oh, but wait, we could go in between there and say 1042 and one and a half seconds, 1042 and one and two thirds seconds, and so on. And there's always a value in between. That means continuous. Think about that. There's no breaks in there. And finally, we can sometimes refer to that as analog, where we have an infinite degree, the exact values. Analog gives us those exact values. And the scale that we choose to work in may change whether it's a discrete variable or a continuous variable. And we'll talk about that as we look at some of these examples here. So let's take a look. This first one, the number of oranges in a bag, is that discrete or is that continuous? Well, it's countable. How many oranges could be in the bag? There could be one, there could be two, there could be five but there couldn't be 1.5 so there's discrete values with nothing in between so this would be an example of a discrete variable how about this next one the heights of people in your family well let's think about it the heights it depends on the scale that we're choosing if we go to the nearest inch, for example, well, then it would be discrete. Someone could be five feet tall, they could be five foot one, they could be five foot two, and so on. But if we look at the exact values, someone could be five foot one and one fourth, they could be five foot one and a half, they could be five foot one and so on there's always something between there so if we're dealing in to the nearest something so let's say to the nearest inch then we would be looking at a discrete situation because we can count all those there's nothing in between but if we are going exact, then it would be an example of a continuous situation. So depending on the scale that we choose. How about the ages of your friends? Well, let's think about this. Again, it's a situation where the scale is going to change things because when we talk about age, many times we talk about years or for younger kids we talk about months or whatever, then that scale is going to tell us if it's discrete or continuous. So if we go to the nearest year or to the nearest month, then it will be an example of a discrete because they're separate values that have nothing in between. So 
to the nearest something. It would be discrete. And then it, it would be continuous if we're talking about exact because remember someone is born they could be born at 1036 and five seconds we could go to tenths of a second to whatever and then that would give us something that would be continuous so if we're going to the nearest something it's discrete and if we're going exact then it's going to be continuous so again that scale makes a difference how about this one the country of birth well hmm countries are you're either from a certain country or not so that would be an example where it would be discrete because you're either from the US or from Canada or from wherever or not there's not an in-between okay how about winning time in a race this is another example where it depends on the scale so if we're going to the nearest tenth of a second that will be an example of a discrete and if we're going exact exact then it would be an example of continuous and finally the year of birth well you were born I was born in 1978 1979 would be the next year 1980 is there anything in between there in terms of those years nope so that would be another example of a discrete situation so the difference between discrete and continuous variables discrete are things that are countable and they might be infinite like for example the years would go on and on and on but there's nothing in between that's a key piece to be able to pick out the discrete stuff continuous it's infinite and there's always something between depending on our scale can change what exactly we have going on oftentimes we'll think of these as continuous but if you want to be very accurate and you say we're rounding to something well then that would be an example of a discrete Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.